Put Graves top lane into Fiora and just try and push her down to tower over and over in the early game if you take the 1v1. But again, we are most likely going to see the lane swap. Now you build just honestly for team fighting instead. Engage him with Lissandra, Poppy follow up. Yeah. They're going to go for it. So. Yeah, yeah, obviously not the Baron. Dombi gets caught here. Oh, beautiful chain CC and he goes down. Okay, easily enough there for Faker. It's very, very quickly, of course. That's how it's going to happen with the block. And Chaogu working on this drag, but a teleport might be coming in here. It's KT. Don't want to let this one go. Red Team does get the Dragon Chow Goo, but now more might be caught by the chain. Duke comes forward, he thought about the back line, but he just turns around and cleans up the cow. Warp going very, very deep, he wants to hit a binding, but he's too far forward. V catches him out, and now Faker going in. Duke very, very low. Somehow, the great escape, no! Uzi shuts him down. Now Uzi might have troubles of his own. It's blank and bang, bang, pressing in towards him. The rend was good, and of course the javelin throw is going to finish it off. Bang, picking that one. Definitely one of the stun, but he opened up the path for SKT. Now QG coming forward. Wolf just going to get completely bursted down there. As Doin B to deal with now, where the rest of Chungu going to come from? They all backed as well, so Doin B not going to have too much help here. And Faker coming forward as well. Does lock up Doin B, and it's going to be an easy one. Wolf actually picks that one away. He gets the magical journey out to safety, but he's not. Of course, one zero and two right now. Oh, Morris corner. An attempt to try and catch more there with the tempered fate. They'll just do it the old-fashioned way. A cosmic biting, locking him up, and Blank gonna be able to knock him back. He can't go over blind. That's why he's not going over because QG this time is grouped here. That's what they do best. Tempered fate coming down onto Blank, but he's more than happy with that. He altered himself. Going B now, gonna get pressed here. He's gonna be back up against the wall. He's very, very low, and V comes in, charges onto Duke. Faker again gets joined. Oh, Duke lives. Fate on towards Warp. He's thrown in the stun. Beautiful cosmic binding from Wolf. Swift drops down. Now he's gonna be threatened and more in the backside. He's gonna to have to accept his fate. And that is a four for zero fight. SKT in the triple for Faker him. From Wolf. That was, yeah, the final nail in the coffin and beautifully executed team fight here from SKT. And this time, there was no blind going. Have this one, no tempered fate on towards more. Probably not the primary target, but still. Teleport coming in. It will be done. Fee is in the middle here, waiting for the rest of his team. He's got to back off as the explosive cast does not QG aside. This could be a slower fight here as Doin B is going to be caught up. He's going to drop eventually. That's Bang to pick that one up. Faker going in towards the back line. More quite low here. And Fee, surely not. He can't even flash away from this one. He is taken out. That's another one for Bang here. He's activating just like Faker. Wolf getting in on the action. And Goosey trying to back away. It is all the bad right now and Swift just that's why you see so so many times people like they screw each other over like ah yeah just, I told you to go left <laughs> I went right and then they both go something that may happen later if, if QG do go down here when they play against CLG they get the temper fate they're looking to cue the bind here yeah, Doin B should just drop pretty easily there in fact a fair bit was actually used to secure that kill but now you can see why it's so important fate. Well, it's kind of the same thing I guess in this case for them as this KT well, uh, it was said before in the interview they had to be prepared for this. Join B is going to have to frozen to himself, and now Blank forcing away. Teleport's going to come in here, but will it be cancelled? No, Duke's in there with Faker. They're going to go into towards Swift here. He goes low, but Duke may himself be caught. He's going to try and make another great escape. Oh, he's dead. Again, Uzi will catch him. Faker, though, he's not going to let this slide, but Uzi doesn't care. It's a zombie being used by Faker, and he drops down. A perfect record now being smeared across the river. Yeah, SKT, they go for a really hard engagement, but... The CC layering isn't just quite as crisp as necessary, and Doan B just, oh, that ice tomb buys him yeah. so much time, and then Uzi staying alive with the hex drinker pop there. Faker not able to, to get him down. The chains missed as well, uncharacteristic from Faker, and now QG are setting up for Baron. Wolf and Bang just towards the outside here as well. They need to hold this one up. Tempered Fate comes in. Only two QG players caught in that one here. The rest are free to fight, and that's why Blank and Wolf have to sit right on back. Oh my lord! SKT steal the Baron! Incredible stuff, and Uzi drops down. Now Bang might be caught though. He needs to try and kite Bang. Bang is doing all the work. It's a triple kill. He's gonna make it another, surely. But no, he chooses not to go over instead. Wolf will do it for him. Now chasing on towards V, a little bit of shield for the man, and of course, a magical journey in through from Wolf. And Bang finally gets him onto the scene. It's an ace for SKT, and the Baron still definitely a nail. In the that is the crucial uh, play of that fight. The QSS flash from Bang completely wins that fight, and maybe even the game here for SKT. Yeah, another tempered fight. Coming down. I think SKT want to be done with this one now. Blank is going to be able to knock back QG in, and Duke already finds V. Now Swift trying to dash away there. Join B in the middle. He's going to tune himself, but he will finally be caught and chased up. More trying to back away. Uzi as well. Double kill coming out here for Duke. And QG just have to back away and give this one over. More stand up against the wall. And this is going to open things up for SKT. They pushed in and taken that bottom inhibitor. It's unlikely they'll finish the game here. Yeah, they took a 
They may actually go for it though. They have a lot of safety in numbers here. They took a dragon while that replay was happening. They took a tower while we were watching. They took the inip and are looking to take two towers more on top of those two kills. SKT are looking to close out the game here. No Dwayne B left and no V. SKT do have a chance, but cleverly enough and kind of. Also, he'll be so hard to lock down. The flash forward there as well, and Dwayne V is going to be caught yet again. Nothing he can really do about that one. No chance to even ultimate himself. Faker as well. Here we happy to pick that kill up, and now the fight continues. Uzi caught right in the middle. You want to be on that loose and he tries to micro his way out, but it's not going to be enough. And now Bang just jockeys back on more. He can't even get the pulverized and Swift looking to get out of this one. But Duke is going to be there right in his footsteps. Look how big he is. That is what the split push threat is able to do here. And SKT, it's a double for Duke. And they surely will finish this game here from start to finish. They look completely confident and solid. And they're going to get it done the right way here, pushing up, of course. All of SKT will be happy with that one. And they have made their way in to our finals out of this group. Congratulations to SKT, a solid finish to this match. And straight through to the finals for these guys. This is the way the tournament structure's working. Two wins are the best of one and you are through. And now QG have to start thinking about how they're going to make their renewed push, of course, for their own finals berth. Yeah, QG uh, won best of three separated from potential second seed here. SKT taking the expected first seed, two best of one wins, second one more convincingly than the first. And this just gives you, uh, for me, even more interest in seeing QG play because um, how crisp their team fights have been in certain um, cases. They have still made some mistakes that maybe CLG can later exploit. Yeah. CLG versus Fnatic will be an interesting match too. So we still have some very interesting games ahead of ourselves. Absolutely. Some incredible plays in that game, especially from Faker 6-1 and 10 and Bang.